Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Library Vault. I'm your host, the Mad Librarian. And as you know, we here at the Vault like to tell stories. It's sort of what we do here. And what's great about stories is that you can find them often where you least expect them. On a train, the line of a fast food restaurant, the basement. So to bring you the most variety of stories possible, I traveled 17 miles to a basement. And, well, I'll let the video turn. The save file I have on my PS3, my Skyrim game, I'm literally going to stop it too. I've already beaten the Heavenly Warrior and everything like that. Crack up that I'm trying. Yeah, <laughs> true. So wait, Dave. Yo. Tell me about that time you got mauled by a dog. Do you want the dog or the coyote? I mean, it's up to you. It's two different stories. Well, you can yeah. start with the dog. Alright, so... And then maybe the coyote, like, it burned. Alright, um... So... We were... Hold on. Yeah, I'm right. So, I was hanging out with Chad. Okay. And you, you've been at Chad's. Yeah. Well, his parents' house. Yeah. Big backyard. Yeah. So, I guess, unbeknownst to us, their neighbors had rescued a Plus German... Plus five for Bill Kepler. What, unbeknownst? Yes. Yes. Plus five. Uh, but unknown to us, they had purchased a bot or... What have you. Whatever. I think yeah. they actually rescued it because it was kind of weak. Yeah. A uh, German Shepherd. Oh, boy. Yeah, those are... It's hit or miss with them. Yeah. Yes. I met a scared German Shepherd once, and he was like, I don't want to go anywhere. And he, he wasn't going anywhere. No, he was like, I'm staying here. They're very... A little skittish. Fool. Yes. That's the one. Yeah, I was like, I don't think that works. They have a good shopping sense. <laughs> uh, they, they they use your money wisely. They're very... Adamant. Yes. That's it. That's a good word. Yeah, they're... Like, whatever they're doing, they're doing. So anyway, uh, I'm outside, mm -hmm. hanging out with Jeff. One of my high school work. I think it's uh, sophomore, junior year. Okay. Might have been the summer between the two years. But uh, we're just... It's been a while since I've been by a dog. This is the first time I've been by a dog. Uh, is the coyote after the dog? Uh, first time I was mauled by an ant. It was dog. So the German Shepherd, okay. uh, the coyote was next. Okay. I was actually in the woods behind Chef's house. Oh, okay. And then a couple That's of years. A dangerous place. Why do they live there? I don't know. Yeah. But I beat the coyote off of a wiffle ball back. <laughs> uh, anyway, and then the second time I was mauled by a dog was a pit bull. And I was, it was, it was, it was a, I was playing with that dog. It was like, it was a calm, like relaxed uh -huh. pit bull. Yeah. I was just getting a little reanimated and wouldn't let it on a trampoline. Oh. Uh, so anyways, yeah. me and Chet are... But yeah, dog. Yeah. Buddy German Shepard, like stay on target. We're not that good at that. No. Uh, so anyway, we're hanging out, just throwing the football back and forth, and the dog comes out. We're like, alright, cool. That's fine. I like dogs. At least I think that's what I thought. I'm not sure what entirely Chet thought. <clears throat> so, playing with this dog a little bit, just throwing the football back and forth, kind of petting it. And it seems a little, like, you know, skittish. Yeah. But I just figured it's... Doesn't know who we are, yeah. so we're we're playing and it's trying to get the football. So we're like, "What's the football? What's the football? Go get!" It. And it would just run back and forth. Uh -huh. That's like a normal dog thing to do. Yeah. So that that's what we were doing with the yeah. dog. And then like I threw a pump fake to chat, and the dog ran halfway, realized what happened, mm -hmm. looked at me, charged me, oh, boy. and it's gone. you didn't know me when I was in high school. No, that's true. But I was a much smaller individual. I've seen the pictures. Yeah, so like yeah. before junior year, I grew like a foot. Oh. Yeah, Respect. I grew like a foot in like a summer. Ask Dan. He'll tell you. That's terrifying. I walked in the first day of junior year, and Dan introduced himself, and I was like, yeah, I know who you are. It's me, Dave. And he's like, that's your really student. <laughs> anyway, so the dog charges me, and I'm just like, puppy! And it like la leaps from like 10 feet out. I get hit, like paws in the chest. And then I go down, a time pause, land on my legs, cool. and it just like tries to snap at me, but I move, and it like grabs a face full uh, of dirt. It really liked this football. It was like, I want this, it's mine. Yeah. So like, it, it like came at me, and it was like, ah, yeah. missed, because right. I moved. Yeah. came back, other side, and like it came back at me, and I had no place to go, so I just put my arms up, and one of these scars were this one. It's, oh, from, yeah. it's from the, it's from the bike, just oh, right on it. That's... Need to know Which is nice because the tattoo covers it up. There you go. I mean, it's uh, a tactical tattoo. Yeah. So That's it hard. like latched onto my arm, and I'm just like, ah. So I jab my other thumb, 
Can it die? Not until I go, so it worked. Threw it off. Picked up the football game again and threw the football. And it went after the football, so me and Chet went inside. My DJ here was a little upset. I bet. I can see that. Oh, there you have it, folks. That's a story straight out of a basement. You like that? Click like, subscribe, please. Also, I just want to note, we're using a different camera next time. Because there will be a next time. The basement's full of stories. And so, hopefully, the video quality will get better. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and always remember that the best fiction is that which tells the truth. Mm. <laughs>